guys it's just Jay and welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing netflix recommendations so let's get into the video so i'm going to be starting off with tv shows and the first tv show that i definitely recommend to you guys is grace anatomy if drama is more your scene kind of like me i definitely recommend drama even though i'm not here for like the whole medical um blood type stuff um i can get past it and I definitely recommend Grey's Anatomy. Um, it's basically about Dr. Grey's life. Uh, Meredith Grey is the main character, and it's definitely it's definitely worth watching. There's 17 total seasons, so if that scares you, but if you can, you know, handle it. I started watching Grey's Anatomy summer of 2020, like July, and I was on season eight at least by August. So, but I did kind of take a break from it because I was watching other shows. So I'm just trying to get back onto it and finish season 13 so I can finish the rest of the seasons. But I definitely recommend um, uh, Grey's Anatomy. But season 17 isn't on Netflix right now, um, but it is on Hulu. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and check it out. The next TV show that I recommend is New Girl. New Girl is a TV show about this girl named Jessie and she's basically trying to figure out her love life and she ends up moving into a condo type situation with three other guys and ends up falling for one of them i'm not going to spoil too much just in case you guys want to actually check out the show there are seven seasons in the show i finished that completely um that was one of the shows that kind of stopped me from watching Grey's, but it's really good the next show is ashley garcia genius in love it's about a girl named ashley of course and she's actually very freaking young. She graduated high school, I want to say, at 14 and got her master's. Or like She finished college at a young age as well. And she's starting um, a job at around like 16. And she works for like NASA because she likes to build robots and she likes scientific things. But she's also trying to figure out how to live life as a normal teenager because she grew up too fast basically the unlisted my friend recommended this to me and he suggested it it was really surprisingly good i'm not finished with it and it's basically about um these people who are trying to control kids the next show is called big mouth now if you guys haven't heard about big mouth which i'm pretty sure you guys have heard about big mouth if you're like my age or something but it's basically about puberty and these middle schoolers are experiencing that puberty and they have something that's called a hormone monster. It's really funny, um, kind of inappropriate for the characters to be middle schoolers, but it's a really good show. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and check that out. Definitely recommend. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of it because I've heard of it, but I never watched it before because I thought it was just like, uh, you know, like what's exciting about it. But I got to watching it like a few weeks ago. There's only four seasons. All of them have like 10 episodes and they're about like 20 something minutes long. So it's something to like, you know, just pass the time by. If you know, you don't, you can't watch like Grey's Anatomy. That's like 30 something minutes long for each episode. And there's like 22, 25 episodes in each season of Grey's Anatomy and there's 17 seasons. But it's worth it to me. But if you guys want something that's short to watch, then definitely I recommend Big Mouth. You, which you guys, I feel like you guys have heard this one because this one here is really good. I want to say I'm on season, I think there's only one season right now. No, there's two seasons. And I'm on season two, episode something. I can't remember, but I need to go ahead and finish that because there's only two seasons. And there's only like a quite a few episodes. Uh, I don't really know how many, but I need to go ahead and finish that one. It's about a guy named Joe and basically he falls for this girl, but he falls for her in a weird kind of way. He ends up stalking her um, basically. And I'm on season two. So by this point she knows about it. The next show is my favorite show of all of these shows that I've mentioned. It's called Emily in Paris. And basically, she is a fashion designer. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And she she lives in New York. If I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting this wrong, 
but she works for this company and her boss was supposed to go to Paris to work with, work on some business with the company. But her boss is, I want to say pregnant and she can't travel. So she tells Emily to go in place of her. They are making a second season. So if you guys want to watch, go ahead and catch up on the first season. And I want to say the second season is coming out this year. I still don't know when the date is, but I feel like they mentioned it. Netflix is mainly my source for TV shows, but if I find a good movie, I'll, I'll like it and I'll watch it. But there's only a few movies that I actually really enjoy that I'm going to recommend to you guys. And I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of all of these movies before. They're like my top four that I definitely recommend. Um, the Kissing Booth 1 and 2, I definitely recommend. It's, my friend recommended The Kissing Booth 1 to me because I never watched it before. And I didn't think I was going to like it. But of course, I ended up liking it. That's what happens in these type of situations. But I liked it. We were so excited for the second one to come out. And I think they're making a third one. I don't know 100% on that. But I thought I heard something about it. So if they do come out with another one. I'm all in for it. All the boys I've ever loved before. To all the boys, P.S. I still love you. I definitely recommend those movies. Kissing Booth, uh, one girl likes her best friend's brother. And they have rules. And one of them was not to like his brother. But she ends up falling for his brother. So he had to like kind of figure out, you know, I can't just stop her from loving whoever she wants to love. So that's how they made that work as far as their friendship. And then with the guy that she likes, they ended up going out. And in the second movie, he ends up going to college because he is older than her. So he went to college. He went to Harvard. And that was one of the schools that she really wanted to get into. I think they are going to be coming out with a third one because they left off on a cliffhanger and i swear if they don't make another movie letting us like you know see how that's gonna all work you know i would be really upset and then to all the boys i ever loved and to all the boys p.s i still love you she has a letter full of um love letters that she's written to every boy that she's ever loved but she never mailed them until her i want to say it was her sister or her dad who ended up mailing them it was her sister because her sister was trying to be really messy with this one she tried it but she obviously um all of the dudes ended up getting the letter but there was only one dude that she liked in particularly and they got together and then the second movie is basically i want to say like their last year of high school but basically how their relationship plays out after you know because like you know, they finally got together in the first movie, but we want to see more, like how the relationship is going to play out, what's going to happen. So that's basically what the second movie is about. So yeah, those are all of the movies that I have recommended to you guys because I don't really watch movies on Netflix. I watch TV shows and these are the movies that I really enjoyed. So I'm recommending them to you guys. So my favorites are Grey's Anatomy and uh, Emily in Paris. Those are my top two that I definitely, definitely recommend to you guys. They're in the TV section. Um, you guys can just go ahead and look those up. But thank you guys so much for watching this Netflix recommendations. I hope you guys end up liking some of the shows and movies that I recommended to you guys. And let me know in the comments if you enjoy the movies or TV shows that you've watched or that you're liking so far. And I'll see you guys in my next video.